Oh, okay. So it's not, it's not gonna die on me this time. Alright. Ready to record. <sighs> Hello, everybody. It's Jedi Jim Jam here from Rush Revolution, and today I'm doing another mod spotlight. Uh, this time I'm doing Rizagami's Biospheres mod. Uh, this is just gonna be a quick video because there isn't really all that much to this mod, despite how awesome it is. But I just thought you guys would enjoy it, even though many of you may already know about it. Alright. So, getting into this, when you patch in this mod, Basically, the way it works is that when you normally are going to go generate a world, you can go into advanced options and select a world type. What this does, it, add, it adds another world type option, which is called biospheres. So you have super flat, large biomes, regular, and then biospheres. And then you can choose the biospheres, and when you spawn in the world, it will look like this. Now, in the world, you've got these many, many, many of these large domes that will just spawn infinitely, because it just keeps generating them, connected by these walkways. Um, and then you've got these other smaller sort of, uh, what I like to call ore chunks that just kind of float here. And they've often got nice goodies in them. See, this one's got emeralds and some iron and some coal around here. Yep, some coal around there, I believe. So these are there basically for you to make a bridge over, come over this way, you know, get all the ore out. And, yeah, they're just there to be useful. And within these bigger domes, depending on what kind you have there will be many many different types of ores so within this one if I was to bother see it's got these sort of little holes in it almost like honeycomb I like to think of it if I was to just like kind of dig into there which I'm not going to there would be a lot of ore so basically you will spawn inside one of these domes dig down this one is a jungle biome dome, I believe yep it is so basically yeah this is a very cool mod what it could be useful for is if say you're doing a tutorials world, hint Joel, <laughs> or um, say with my epic builds world, this could be very useful because in each dome you could have a single thing. And that will be very good for segregating them, it would look really nice because this mod is just super sleek, it makes the game look awesome. With a texture pack, I can imagine this would be amazing, however I'm still working on finding a nice texture pack. If any of you have a suggestion for a nice texture pack, just let me know, please. And I was also, just for a final thing, going to suggest whether or not you guys would enjoy seeing me and Joel do a Let's Play on a Biospheres mod world. And uh, that's really it for this episode, guys, because this mod's quite simple. I mean, there's not much to it, really, but it's still totally awesome. I'll just load in some more of the world over here. Oh, this is a snowy one, I believe. Oh, no, just a forest. But yeah, so it goes on infinitely forever, which I think is totally awesome. This is by Rizugami, who makes lots and lots of awesome mods. I recommend go checking him out. If you so wish, I might make a tutorial on how to install all these kind of mods. I don't know, just write down in the comments below. And without further ado, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.